all right what's up everybody grim green back here today doing a one-shot review for this advocan manta sub ohm tank spending uh, a little bit of time with this it's been about two weeks that i've vaped this advocan manta sub ohm tank i unboxed it on the vlog a few weeks ago and i've been using it ever since it's filled up with white label juice co white gummy bear and it's been a pretty solid vape there is a little bit of a learning curve to this uh to this sub ohm tank which i kind of wasn't expecting like at this point in time i feel like sub ohm tanks are sub ohm tanks like you kind of use them all in the same way you just plug in your coil head you prime it up with juice you fill it up with juice you open the airflow and you take a big old rip and you get a nice like dense flavorful saturated vape like that that is how you use a sub ohm tank but this sub ohm tank sub ohm tank is not like other sub ohm tanks it requires a little bit of a different like draw style and it requires a lot lot less wattage than you think you need a lot of sub ohm tanks you know you can use them at real high wattages upwards of like 70 80 watts sometimes on some sub ohm tanks such is not the case not at all with the advocan manta i am running this so this is a 0.15 uh coil head in here and i'm only running it at 46 watts 46 watts that's that's low sorry my brightness is too high on this laptop but that's that's low in my opinion that's that's a very low wattage for a sub ohm tank especially a 0.15 i i wouldn't be running at 46 watts i mean ever like in any other application but you kind of have to do that with this advocate manta in order to get like a satisfying vape experience from it i found if i run the wattage too high dry 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 it just goes dry it just goes dry and if it doesn't go dry it feels like it's about to go dry you know sometimes sub ohm tank coil heads have that feeling where it's like it you vape it and, and you know you get vape from it but it just feels like it's on the very very edge of going dry when i get the wattage too high on these advocan manta coil heads it has that like constant just about to go dry like ugh, oh god the next one's gonna be dry right and you take it to it and you're like oh okay well, it wasn't but it still feels like it's just gonna go dry and then the next one you're like oh it's gonna be dry and then it's not but it still feels like it's going to be dry that's the issue with the mad madvican advocan manta sub ohm tank so here let me have some toots here this is a 0.15 like i said 46 watts white gummy bear you take a little bit of a smoother draw you know i've been doing this uh smoother draw like a little bit more laid back of a draw thing lately with a lot of devices like with that hermetic rda same thing same type of draw on it and when you do that when you take that like smoother smoother draw with it at a much lower wattage you're gonna get a much much better vape experience from it so i do have a few gripes with this tank it's just, okay i do i do have a few gripes with this tank i like the vape i get from it i like being able honestly i enjoy being able to rock it at a lower wattage because that just means longer battery life in the long run and even at a lower wattage like i said it's still giving me a pretty fantastic vape so the look of this tank let's see if it's going to focus on it here's this tank right and it's got uh it's got this big like ufo shaped sort of uh bubble glass on there to me i don't find that bu bubble glass super annoying super offensive it kind of looks a little bit dorky but it doesn't really bother me because it doesn't look like a fish tank it doesn't look like there's a base and then a top and then you have like this big bubbly glass that comes out and goes all the way up it just gives you a little bit more capacity in the bottom the bummer part about this tank one of the bummer parts about this tank is where's your juice level can you i mean try as you might you cannot see your juice level in here and you can hold it up to the light all you want that glass on there that plastic tank is so darkly smoky colored and it's got that honeycomb pattern on there it is essentially impossible i mean impossible to see your juice i can hold it up to this really really bright studio light i have right here and you can't 
You just can't. You just can't see your juice. So it's always a little bit of a guessing game, like how much liquid you have in here. Now, not all of their tanks are this darkly colored. They have, uh, you know, this one in particular actually comes with like a rainbow color glass that you could easily put on here and it would be much easier to see your juice level. Unfortunately, that rainbow color glass is just ugly. It's just super ugly. I would rather not be able to see my juice than be able to see my juice, but be forced to use like a rainbow colored bubble glass on here. It's just weird. It's it's just a real weird design. It's real easy to fill if you uh, focus on this right here camera. There you go. There's just a little uh, sliding mechanism here if I can find it this far away from my face. Yeah, it slides this way. Boom. Just slides open and you have a big kidney shaped juice fill hole right there and it slides back shut. Now, it doesn't click or lock into position at all, but it is fairly firm. Like when I press this, I can feel the resistance of pushing it. When I push this back, I can kind of feel that resistance. So I feel like this is real secure. It's never opened like accidentally on me or anything like that. I've never spilled juice anywhere because this wasn't staying closed. It stays closed and it's fine and secure. And then of course, 810 drip tip compatible on top. And I'm just rocking that stock drip tip with it. And then you have uh, an adjustable AFC kind of at the bottom. It's a uh, it's a little bit stiff and difficult to adjust, but it'll stay wherever you want to put it with this Advocan Manta full open. I just go full open all the time. And even at full open with the airflow full, full open, it's still kind of a little bit of a restricted, restricted lung hit. Just slightly, just a little bit of a restricted lung hit, but that's actually helpful because of how you need to drag on this uh, particular sub-ohm tank. Now, I'm not gonna do any up close I'm not gonna show you how to install a sub-ohm tank coil head. There are lots of videos out on YouTube there if you wanna figure out how to put your sub-ohm tank together. It's real straightforward. It's the same with every sub-ohm tank. You put your coil head in the base, you juice up your coil head a little bit, you screw the tank together, you fill it up, you let it sit for a little bit for the cotton to absorb all that liquid, and then you can kind of start vaping it like right away, right away. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands for the Advocan Manta tank? Well, I have no idea, so I am going to, uh, Look, I'm gonna look on the internet. I'm gonna look on the internet like everybody else would. Let's find it here. Vapor L, Vapor L has it in stock on their very slow loading website. Manta sub ohm tank atomizer, four and a half mils, $21. Not bad. That's not vape budget hands territory. $21, in my opinion, is firmly in that like cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out if you're interested in this tank 21 bucks isn't going to break the bank let's see if there's anywhere else that sells it for uh whoops what are you doing google seriously what are you doing google chrome ridiculous element vape is out of stock right now but it looks like their asking price is 29 dollars so vaporel had it for 21 element vape has it for 29 still under 30 bucks i don't really think is really super into vape budget hands territory at all. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game, which we always do, or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Advocan Manta sub -ohm tank something I would seek out and buy right away? Uh, probably not. I, I I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this tank. Here's the thing, this tank is fine. It's a fine tank, like a lot of products coming out of China, it's fine. It will vape. It will work. Assuming that you lower that wattage and assuming you take a little bit smoother of a hit, it will work and it will vape and it's just fine. Here's the thing. I don't feel like this is a necessity to me and my vaping. I don't feel like the Advocan Manta tank is something I definitely, definitely need in my arsenal and I have to buy it. If someone buys it or if you have bought it and you use it and you like it, then awesome, and it's fine, and it's a fine tank, 
I don't know. I just don't feel like I uh, I super need to own it. I've liked a lot of the products that Advocan has released over the years, but uh, for some reason the sub ohm tank and those coils, it's just it's just real weird. And here's the thing, which I also say a lot. It's a 0.15 and I would like to rock this at a higher wattage. I would like this. A 0.15 should be in like the 60 to 70 watt range for like the way that I want to vape. I want that warm, dense vapor and I just can't. You, you simply cannot do it. At least in my experiences, the few coil heads that I've used, I mean, I can only review what's in front of me and the few coil heads that I've used simply don't allow that. They, they don't allow you to go up, uh, up that high a wattage. You got to rocket it. You got to rocket a little bit lower, 14 watts, but let's go over the specs. 24 millimeter diameter, four and a half mil juice capacity, 304 superior stainless steel construction. It is constructed real nice. The whole fit and finish of this tank, top to bottom, feels real great especially that uh you know that juice filling sort of push it and pull it and thing that feels real nice and firm uh, advocate mesh coil system 0.16 ohm mesh coil and a 0.2 ohm mesh coil which they both work kind of the same way you have to rock them both at much lower wattages and now if we're going to wrap this up let's talk about the flavor real fast flavor's good Flavor's surprisingly good. This is, like I said, White Label Juice Co. Uh, white Gummy Bear in here. It's nice, it's sweet, I can taste it. I've had this juice a lot and, and I can definitely taste my juice in here. Flavor is pretty rad. In fact, the flavor is one of those things that gets better at lower wattages. When you crank this up and it starts feeling dry, your, your flavor is going to take a nosedive in that department as well. Lower that wattage, take a smoother draw, you'll have a good vape. And that's where I'm going to leave that. Advocan Manta 24 millimeter sub ohm tank. And uh, yeah, YouTube doesn't let me put links in the description anymore. So you're going to have to use your Google Foo, but ultimately the decision is yours to make. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, even at 46 watts, let's keep on vaping.